Well, hello everybody. It's been a long time since I've actually picked up the camera and filmed something. Took the last couple weeks off. Actually, um, went gold mining last weekend and I didn't even bring the cameras out once. Didn't even take like one picture or anything. It was nice just to do something, not worry about trying to shoot video. And it was a, it was a trip where we actually got some gold too, so... Um, today, we're starting off in the garage. Lots of things going on this weekend. Before we bring in the Jeep uh, to do the repairs on that, um, we gotta fix the hole in the Ford box, the rust hole. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I actually picked up this patch panel last year but never got around to installing it. And last year, it was just a big rust spot. And then over the winter, it became a big hole. So now we need to do something about it. People ask me all the time what kind of cameras I use. This is just one of many. See what I mean? Last winter is just a rust spot like this. And over the winter, I can put my fist in there. And I got big sausage fingers too. Patch panel right there actually fits up pretty good. Now, for those of you who have repaired panels, when you cut it out, you gotta cut quite a bit around because I even peeled it out and you can see how far the corrosion has gotten. So you gotta cut all that cancer out and then weld it all back together. Alright, I'm going to try this approach now. I marked it, I could see my marks with that marker. And then when I went to go grab the tape, couldn't see the marks anymore. So now we're going to mark it again. Just going to get a darker marker than that. This is it boys, there's no turning back now. Got the Milwaukee cordless. Let's cut that out and go to town. Never fails when you're working on a project. It always goes a lot deeper than you thought. That was rusted out, so I'm gonna put a little patch panel in there. And I cut this piece out. We can see the rust goes way back and even back behind there. So I got that whole patch panel for what it's worth. Might as well just go all the way across, call it a day. Gonna get set up, weld this little piece in. Um, start spraying some stuff on there and uh, see what we can do. That's kind of a big pile of dirt and rust that's collected behind there. Well, here we are. I used part of the hood of the Jeep when I did the poison louver install. Transplanting some of the metal onto the Ford here. Let's get that tacked up. Not gonna lie, welding that was harder than welding my 57. That metal's so rotted still around there that it uh, burned big holes and it looks like dog shit, but we'll clean it up. Gonna get ready to cut the rest of this panel off, make it easier. And I forgot, forgot about my lights. Crushed them again. 
guess it's just not meant to be up there. I don't really use them anyways. I thought I would, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to thunderstorm out or what the heck, we've been having thunderstorms all week, but I'm going to try to fit this up and weld it tomorrow. This wind is going to wreak havoc with my welding gas, I really don't want to pull the truck all inside either, move shit around. The panel's all cut out. I sprayed some rust inhibitor on there. Forest fires to the west, all the smoke's coming in. It's starting to get pretty grey and dark out. What I really need to do is get the truck outside, uh, close the garage door, go inside for a little bit, feed Tomcat, bring him outside before it starts raining because he hasn't been able to do a whole lot because every time he wants to go outside it's raining. He's been getting a little angry. One thing I need to do is to yank those damn ballasts out. thought they'd be okay to leave them in there but it's not the case. If you turn the lights on and off really quick, it won't fire. Hello Tomcats, where are you going? What? Are you hungry? Do you want to go outside? Nobody wants to see your butthole. Oh my. Oh, look at who's the big suck is. Hello Tomcats. What's going on buddy? Quarter after five. Got that zinc plated. Truck is set up. Fit that panel up tomorrow. It's one of my buddy's birthdays this weekend, so tonight's the only night we can meet up. So I better get changed, showered. I also want to go down to the collective beer store, whatever you want to call it. Uh, get my growlers filled up. Uh, might have a fire tonight, if not, probably tomorrow. Figure out something, gonna head to Crows this Pass with Aubrey on Sunday, gonna meet up a Tuscany guy. Um, he's got a trailer down there in the Crows Nest, which I've said many times before, it's one of my favorite places to be. And it's also where some of my relatives emigrated from when they came over from Europe over a hundred and some years ago. So another reason why that place is kind of special to me. Uh, yeah, gotta get moving. Beer growlers are in the car, let's go get them filled. Just got home, got a fire brewing. Tomcat's chilling in his kennel. Trevor may come over, we'll see what will happen. Ah, Trevor's over. Got my beer keg I filled up. Motherfucking beer time. Where the fuck is Well, everybody, it's a little later in the afternoon. Really meant to come out sooner, but it was kind of raining. And uh, I really didn't feel like moving shit around in the garage to pull the truck inside, but it seems to get a little bit nicer out. We're gonna continue working away. I've kind of ground this down a little bit, test fitting the panel up. Bought this little tiny body hammer a while ago. If I must say so myself, that is looking good. Panel is fit up nice. Clamps are holding her down. That looks kind of foolish, so bring the camera down right here. So can't really see the GoPro. So someone a while ago asked me. Since I sold the Bel Air, what am I gonna do about all those bodywork tools that I got? I'm not gonna be able to use them. And this is the opportunity 
that I'm gonna be able to use them. Cause I'm gonna need to hold this panel up top tight while we weld it. And that's where these bad boys are gonna come in handy. Start by drilling a couple holes. Insert the tool in there, push it, insert it. This gives you less chance of warpage. And you just put that one in the right way. All I want to do is get this done. All it's doing is raining. It's supposed to pass, so I give it an hour. So I got this parcel a little while ago from Royal Mail. So I'm going to assume it's from the UK. Let's open it up and see what we got. I like it when people send me things. Always something interesting. Yes sir, the bubble wrap packaging. Make sure that it does not break unless my butter fingers. Look at that, Spitfire. Hi Jerry, hope you and Tomcat are well. I know you love motherfucking beer time, so I thought I'd send you some of England's finest. A bottle of Spitfire Kentish Ale and a bottle of Bombardier English Ale. Hope you enjoy it, mate. Remember us Brits, don't mind drinking our beer. A little warm either. Looking forward to see more Jeep videos. I own a 94 YJ, currently stripped down to the bare bones. So always up for Jeep content. Anyways, good luck with gold prospecting this season. Looking forward to seeing you striking it this year. All the best, Patrick. I want to thank you, Patrick, for sending me the beers, the Spitfire. 4.5% alcohol. The Bombardier. 4.7. Nice. I'll be looking forward to trying those out. I really appreciate you, Patrick, sending me some beers from your country. I feel pretty privileged to be able to sample beers from all over the world from people sending them to me. Anyways, let's get back to work on the F-150. Once that panel's cold to touch, it's still a little warm. Weld again. Got her all welded up. I'm a little sad that the panel pulled a little bit. This side actually welded really good. This side here kind of pulled in. It took my time, was patient. Let the panel cool down enough that it was like beyond cool to touch. And the bitch still fucking pulled in that corner. Motherfucker. Oh well, shit happens. Tried to pound it out a little bit, but you know how that works. Let's get some of the magic bondo on there to hide it. Rain, rain, go away. Send that down another day. I do, however, think it's motherfucking beer time. Let's try out one of those beers we got.
We're gonna try this bad boy out. The Bombardier Glorious English Ale. All right, do you know what time it is? Motherfucking beer time. Bombardier, I wanna thank you once again, Patrick McBride, for sending me some beers from the UK. Cheers, everybody. Let's try this out. Oh yeah, that's a smooth beer. Oh, fuck yeah, is that good? So moving along, we got a lot of things coming up in the future. Going on a road trip next weekend to pick up something for a future project. And this future project is going to be done basically um, on viewer request, I'm going to say. I built a Jeep on what I want to put on it and after I built it there was a lot of things I would have done differently now that I built one. And this new project, I'm going to take input from the viewers, uh, going to vote on what we're going to do and go forward from there. We're going to see how that's going to turn out. But picking up the most important thing next weekend and then we're going to build the project around what I'm picking up. And what I'm picking up is not a new vehicle. What we're picking up is something that's gonna be used with it. You guys will see uh, when that video appears. I want you to stay tuned for that one because it's pretty important because I've been hunting high and low for one for a long time. Finally got my hands on it. Things are going good. Unfortunately, the rain kind of shut us down today, slowed down the progress. Gonna finish that patch panel. Uh, a few other rust spots we're gonna touch up. Gonna use POR 15 on the rust ones, or spots that are rusty. And then I still got some of that rocker liner left. We're gonna spray that down and uh, continue on. But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this beer. It's motherfucking beer time. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want you guys to stay tuned to what's gonna happen in the very near future.